श्री एस निरंजन रेड्डी माननीय एस निरंजन रेड्डी थैंक यू डेप्यूटी चेयरमैन सर बिफोर आई स्टार्ट स्पीकिंग डेप्यूटी चेयरमैन सर आई मस्ट कन्फेस दैट आई हैव एन अबाइडिंग इंटरेस्ट इन फिल्म्स आई हैव बीन क्रिएटिवली इन्वॉल्व आई हैव आल्सो प्रोड्यूस सम फिल्म्स सो इट्स माय ड्यूटी टू फर्स्ट इन्फॉर्म द ऑगस्ट हाउस अबाउट माय इंटरेस्ट बिफोर आई स्पीक चेयरमैन माइक इज नॉट ऑन आर यू आर इन योर सीट येस नाउ इट इज ऑन प्लीज डेप्यूटी स्टार्ट i i rise to support the bill on behalf of my party there are four important features of this bill why we feel that this bill is commendatory and needs to be supported first the government uh, deputy chairman sir reduces its control because it has taken away one round of revision power that it had under section 6 so there's lesser government control on the creative aspect the second the certification period has been increased from 10 years to perpetuity it's again a very welcome step one of the honorable members has already, has already spoken about it the third is the age appropriation uh, that is required to be mentioned in the certification now now this would give the viewers an informed choice when they are taking children when such films are certified as ua they would know what age would be the appropriate age which they may be able to take the children along for the film so this gives that viewers choice to the audience informs them better so this is a very salutary feature the fourth which is the most important feature of the bill sir is the anti piracy provision that has been made now the deputy chairman sir i would only wish to state that the government has done a good job in providing for this feature now but it may need to consider whether this may be a case of doing a little too late and i would like to give the reasons for that the provisions sir that have been made now for uh, uh, ensuring that if someone is carrying an ad audio visual recording device into a cinema theater that has been made punishable which is very creditable it does not go sufficiently far because this is uh, uh, inspired possibly by the am anti camcording legislations that were in place in usa from 2005 south korea and philippines had it in 2009 and 2011 that time sir that kind of a provision possibly had a greater effect not to say that this is not useful now it is useful i commend the government i am only trying to say that maybe there is a little more that can be added now earlier when those laws in 2009 5 and 11 were available sir what could happen is someone had to carry a camcorder into the theater for the purpose of recording a film it was easier to detect it was easier to arrest it was easier to implement possibly now while because of the proliferation of mobile phones where everybody has a recording device in their pocket giving teeth to the law today in the in terms of implementing it may be little difficult so i would want the government to go a little further i'm i'm, I'm uh, commending the government for what they have done because this bridges a gap earlier sir only when a copy was made and a copy was exhibited it would result in what is called as an infringement under the copyright act once it is infringed section 63 would come in sir and whoever aided or abetted the infringement including by someone who may have recorded this movie in a cinema theater would also become guilty and he would also be punished but now the very fact that someone is recording it in the theater by taking a audio visual recording device by itself is sufficient to make it punishable so it will have a larger deterrent effect but as i mentioned sir because of the uh the difficulty that may be available to the implementing agencies for ensuring that because everybody has a mobile phone if there are 1000 people in an auditorium or 500 people each of them have a recording device so the suggestion i have for the government therefore is that after a film is recorded now the the most common way sir in which this film is being shown is by it uh, being streamed on this pirated sites we have provisions thankfully sir all the three laws which enable the government to stop this one is the it act the second is the copyright act and also the cinematography act all are under the central legislative sphere so it is the central government sir i am requesting for two more minutes because your party has one more speaker i know sir but sir, sir can i ask for two more minutes otherwise i'll stop Please. i just have two important Please suggestions in one minute yes on good evening mr you have yes. more one, one more speaker so what is happening now sir is that when as and when uh, there is a <coughs> illegal streaming that is happening the streaming would have to be blocked 
So the instructions would have to go from a lawful authority or for a court and we have found it is very difficult that these kind of instructions can be obtained on a film to film basis and on a site to site basis. So maybe the government may have to come up with some scheme which will make it easier to give effect to what the government itself seeks to achieve under the Piracy Act. Sir, then I have one other uh, important submission. Sir, there, this, it is now well documented that piracy is costing the uh, Indian economy $2.8 billion, which roughly translates to 20,000 crores. This is only going to increase. Sir, I am therefore suggesting that if the cinema piracy is going to be stopped, sir, it would result in the power of the Indian cinema reaching larger audiences and the soft power of cinema. Uh, just to give an example, when we see now <coughs> Korean cinema, sir, it has, it has somehow managed to reach every corner of the world. This has resulted in increased tourism. Indian cinema is just on the frontiers of stepping outside the uh, traditional areas of Indian film viewing. Sir, I would request the government to look at this piracy related issues little more seriously. I commend the government, I support the bill, but with a hope that with the young minister in charge, we may have more proactive steps from the government for protecting the film industry. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you, Niranjan Reddy ji. <coughs>